I swear. Okay, we're back on again. Uh, apparently that battery didn't get a full charge, so I had to switch batteries again. Okay, so getting back at it. So we have our wires going to our thermistor for the heat, for the extruder. We have the wires going to the thermistor for the heat bed. That's all taken care of. Now we are down. I hate this wiring. Now we're going to go to the end stops. Mm, you know what? I'm going to bring that through here. I'll eventually put some more sleeving or something on it to make it look right. I'm going to shorten all these wires up. Okay. So for so that's going to be for the z-axis or no sorry about that that one is for yeah for z-axis like for the up and down then we need one for the y-axis which is this one here and that's actually the one we're going to work on right now y-axis goes it shows on the first prong closest to this and it shows it on the third prong. Not the center one, but the third one. Right there. Now, and so help me, I did that wrong again, didn't I? Yes, because see, it's the instructions have the beginning on the other page. <laughs> I see now where people are saying they're having problems with getting the wiring done. I understand it now completely. Okay, for the end stop for the x-axis. X-axis is the one going this way. So the X-axis... Huh, luckily enough, it's black wires, it looks like, according to the black and white drawing. X-axis goes first and third on that connector closest to the USB. Second one is Y-axis. That's going to be these. And strangely enough, it looks like it's going to be the red ones. So, sweet. We go there. We go there. Skipping the one in the middle. There's a metal post in the middle of each one of these connectors. We're skipping around it. Final one. Connect wires for Z-axis. That's going to be this one. And it's going to go, once again, first one, second one. There. That's all that for the end stops. So let's connect the wires for fan. Step five. Here you will need the two pin FM extension wire for the fan. <clears throat> so, this is black and red, so I'm guessing it's going to be number 48 because 49 is nothing but red wires. So I'm going to guess it's 48. Okay. Connect the black and red wires to the connector on the fan of the fan wire. Leave the yellow wires alone. Your extension wire is a three pin is three pin. It doesn't matter, just connect the black and the red pins. Huh? I've only got two wiring harnesses left, and that's that one, which is a two pin, same as this one. This one's a two pin that's going to be uh, the red and the black. Let me look, go to the next page and take a look here. Okay, so it's showing this connector attaching to this fan. The fan for this unit. So all we're connecting with the one that has the 
the two prongs we're connecting the red and the black the reds on the outside blacks on the inside so it's going to be in those two pins that's all we're doing we're bypassing the yellow one on this connector okay now it says connect fan to the control board <coughs> And it shows it going up here between this connector and that connector. Now it shows the red wire being toward the top. So we're going to spin that around and come down on it like that. That way the red wire is toward the top of the board black wire is toward the bottom of the board. And what's funny is it shows me using that jumper then it shows just connecting this connector to it. What is it trying to show me that it won't, oh because it won't connect. Is that what they're trying to show me? It just seems like more wires that we don't need. Let's take a look here. If this fits, I'm going to be a little ticked at them. Those two prongs there go to those two prongs there. Surprise, surprise, it fits. Red wire toward the top, black wire to the bottom. <sighs> Why would I want to add more wires to something if I can get out of it? Okay. Connect fan for extruder. So that's going to be this one right here. Let's bring it through. our other wires oh my goodness all the spaghetti <laughs> okay it's easy to see that's not going to reach that board so we're definitely going to need longer wire question is is this one going to be long enough and i am guessing it is i think it'll be plenty long enough but the thing is we got to go with all this other wire let's see how long this one and for the package number 49 it's going to be a really long one but it's all red wires so on here I have no clue if you can see it. There is an arrow there. There is an arrow there. So I'm guessing that those two wires are connected together. Which way I have no clue. So for just giggles, we're going to say that that arrow is going to be the red. We're going to make that the positive. So I'm going to take the arrow onto this piece right here and connect it where the arrow is at the top of the board. The one without the arrow is facing to the bottom board. So it'd be like red wire, black wire. I know they're all red wires. Just humor me. So once again, arrow to the red wire and the one without the arrow to the negative. Done. Okay. Connect wires for LCD panel. Now, I have read over and over again that you cannot shorten these wires. I have no clue why, but they say you cannot shorten the wires. So we can't shorten the wires. This is going to connect. Let's play with the spaghetti again, shall we? 
all these wires over here our end stop down there this is going to go with all of this no yes what good enough at this point i'm getting to the point where i don't care <laughs> okay so we have those wires, we have these wires, we have these wires. They all go to the same place. Stay. I will try my best to do a video on shortening these wires, but I'm, if I don't, forgive me. <laughs> I probably just start snipping and soldering here in just a little bit. I just gotta find some shrink tubing that'll fit them all. Okay, so now these cables will fit over here onto these. And it just all plugs in just like that. Done. Two cables, yes. They apparently don't know that they already came on the board, so they are hooked up. Now, connect wires for the power unit. So we have our power supply. And if you remember from the other video I did, that'll be previous to this, it's the very beginning of this. If you live in America or you know for sure that your 110 volt power switch the switch internally to the 110 side. If you live where it's 220, be sure it's on 220. I imagine it will short the thing out or burn it out if you have it set on 220 and plug into 110 and vice versa. So just be very mindful of that. Uh, I already switched that over. I'm going to double check it right now. I'm looking in. I see the switch is all the way to the 110 side, so we know we're good. <clears throat> now, it says to connect the cable from here to there. So that's going to go to that. I imagine we're going to have to mount that somewhere here in just a moment. I hope. Okay, yes, here we go. Okay, so we're just going to take number 23 screws. Close my knife up so I don't cut myself. Find the 23 screws. Found. Now what's funny is it's saying I'm going to have six of those. I don't have six of those. I have two of those. So something went wrong somewhere. And if you followed through on all of this, you have seen for yourself that I have been extra careful on what screws I used. And the ones that I did mess around with, I made sure that I... Uh, You know what? I'm going to use 22s. Because there's no way I've got enough 23s. Okay. Anyway, that. And then we're going to use number 16 nuts. There's got to be an end to this, right? Number 11 nuts. Number 16 is a square nut. I don't remember there ever being a square nut. Well, there's a number 16 and it's empty. You know what? It's going to go with these regular nuts. These nuts are going to work. That's totally bad. <laughs> okay. It's wanting me to connect the wires right now, but I'm not going to connect the wires just yet. I want to see where this thing mounts. And it doesn't show me where to mount. It says 
Oh, wait a minute. Those are for the filament spool. So I'm not supposed to mount the power supply? Really? That's going to get mounted somewhere, whether it likes it or not. I am not going to take and just have a power supply laying on the on the desk. Ah. Anyway, there it is. We have our spaghetti fest going on here. I'm going to go through, clean everything up, get the looms put on everything, get it all figured out. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Check out the screen. Uh, for a moment, the screen lit up. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, I'm going to get it all sorted out and cleaned up and make it look presentable and I'll see you in the future videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.